What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Blue Archive. This is a brand new hero collector brought to you by Nexon. Yeah, that Nexon. But you know what? Let me be fair. Nexon as of late has slowly started to change their overall sentiment slightly to the positive. They've kind of been on this like, you know, apology tour as of late. Basically, they're rebuilding their NBA team with some fresh rookies, right? You got Kona Suba, which was pretty well received. And so far, Blue Archive has been pretty well received as well. I've already scoured through the Gotcha Gaming subreddit, which will always tell you what you need to be upset about. And so far, not a lot of upset people. Now, sure, you know, there are some subjective quibbles. You know, some people weren't super happy about the combat system and, of course, the chubby chibis. But overall, for a Nexon game, for those to be the prominent criticisms of a Nexon game, that's pretty good. So Nexon off to a better start in the latter half of the year. There is nothing like a slew of failures to make you eat a little bit of humble pie. You know what I'm talking about, Kendrick? <laughs> Who? Lamar, you know what I'm talking about. Now, with all that being said, what do I think about Blue Archive? Well, I'm gonna start this off as I always do, starting off with the heroes that you can collect, and I gotta quibble myself. The art, outside of a couple, like Nuru's pretty cool, and there are a few characters I haven't collected that I have some pretty cool art, but I have got to say, the art, she's another one of my favorites, the art is woefully generic. Now, generic sounds really negative, and well, I guess it kind of is. <laughs> But the reason why I say the art in this game is just woefully generic, because I feel like you can plop any of these characters into almost any generic anime gacha game that we've seen in the last few years, and they would look right at home. When you compare it to games that don't have generic art, think about Ark Knights, think about Exos Heroes, think about even Genshin Impact. You kind of know what art that game comes from just based off of the uniquity of the art design. I hope that's a word, it sounds good. Here, not so much. Not to say that there are not any good looking characters. Like I said, a few of them I do think look pretty decent, but you know, they're, they're kind of generic. They, they really are. So let's go ahead and jump into combat as we are here. I'm playing on times three speed on auto. Now let's talk about auto here for a second because I know I saw some people that were like, oh, this is like an auto girls gun cafe type of game where you're not really doing anything but just watching. In the very beginning, yes. In the very beginning, absolutely. But you, right around chapter three and chapter four, you get to a point where the AI is just no good. It'll waste heals. It won't align up your, like, it won't line up your abilities to get every enemy that it possibly can get in. And you're gonna find yourself three starring, or two starring, not three starring, two starring stages repeatedly because you're gonna be losing some of your heroes here. So yeah, in the very beginning, pretty hands off, pretty auto-y, but then you fastly get to a point where you do need to take over and play manually unless you just dramatically overpower the content, which I do not. <laughs> So in combat, you can kind of see here, your girls will basically do auto attacks and special skills automatically. They'll automatically duck behind cover, etc. You are in charge of doing ultimates, heals, things of that nature. That's pretty much it. Um, I highly recommend playing this game, you know, manually after a while because as simple as it is, right? It's not a really complicated combat system, but something about it kind of grabs you. And it, it, I don't know, I, I found it really interesting once I started playing on manual. Once I stopped playing on autoplay, really FG? Once you actually started playing the game, started having fun? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, I know. <laughs> so that's just my recommendation. Yeah, you can probably outpower it, especially if you get you know some really good pulls, um, but definitely recommend playing this bad boy on manual. So here we are in like a main campaign stage. What I just showed you was just kind of like a sub stage. This is the main like type of gameplay here. So you kind of start on these little nodes here and your objective here is to defeat all the enemies within the allotted amount of turns and S ranking all of them if you can. Um, so we'll just go over here jump and fight this tank. You do not replenish HP in between stages. So this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. You wanna you wanna definitely min-max your uh, your gameplay here to make sure that you are, you know, healing your your tanks and healing your, you know, uh, secondary back units because once, once they die in one of these little campaign stages, they're done. And you've just screwed over your three-star chances, which is never good because the three-star allows you to sweep, which we'll talk about. And I got some positive things to say about the sweeping in this game. <laughs> you just, you just Stay right there. But yeah, look at the little ultimates here. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Chibi, but the ultimates are pretty well animated. Lots of good animations of the girls kind of ducking behind. Oh my God, I'm getting destroyed. We ain't ready for this stage. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here ASAP. 
My goodness, dude. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not ready. We're gonna have to do some summons here. So we're gonna forfeit out of that. Wow. <laughs> the, oh, look at that. See, very well animated. And the girls jump on there. They got their eyes closed. So even though I'm not a fan of Chibi, I, I'm, I'm digging. I, I got over it. I got over it quite quickly. There you go. So out of here. Click confirm for right now. I want to kind of show you what sweeping looks like. Loading times aren't too bad. I'm on max settings here on my red magic, as you guys might expect. So I have three star stage three, four here, right? So I can go in here and I can sweep this stage the good old fashioned way, the way that your mama used to sweep stages. You know what I'm talking about back in the days? This is the way sweeping is supposed to be. No sweep tickets, no parallel processing, just good old fashioned sweeping as long as you have stamina. You love to see it. Now the game does have your uh, girls levels, kind of locked behind your account level, which I'm also not a fan of. That's another kind of beef that uh, Gotcha Gaming subreddit had. I, I feel ya. Um, so right now I'm level 18, so now I can level up my girls directly up to level 18. There you go. Um, when it comes to duplicates, as you summon duplicates, you're gonna get these little this little currency here, which will unlock Mystic. I don't have enough duplicates to do unlock Mystic on anything, so more to come on that. Um, you can level up your basic skills by finding, you know, little resources that you find scattered among stages and resource grind stages. And then then you also have equipment that you can equip here as well. So you have three equipment slots that you can also upgrade, bring up to T1, T2, et cetera, et cetera, based on things that you loot around the game. Let's go back home. Outside of the campaign that I just showed you, you of course have a story based campaign as well, where you're kind of going through this, you know, kind of isolated story with preset characters as well. So you're not using your normal team in this gameplay mode. You're using, you know, the characters that are tied to the story, lots of rewards here. Um, so this is a nice place to kind of accrue um, cash shop currency for a summoning um, bounty. This is going to be a daily resource grind. As you guys can see, you have a set amount of tickets every single day to each and all these stages. This is going to give you the materials that you need to upgrade your skills, which is a very, very important as you fight the bootleg sushi Power Rangers you'll love to see. Um, outside of bounty, you have commissions, which is pretty much the same exact thing, but these are not limited. This allows you to farm EXP as well as credits. Um, the things that I don't have unlocked just yet are gonna be Total Assault, which unlock on chapter 4-1. I'm probably gonna be back playing this game. You said that about Mystic Heroes, FG. I'm probably gonna be back playing this game, so I'll probably bring you guys some more content when it comes to unlocking Total Assault and Tactical Challenge. As far as I know, it's PVP and something else. Um, so that's something to look forward to there, but it's a very straightforward game, right? It's really all about collecting the waifus, going through the stages, building your little cafe here. Yes, the game has a cafe as all these games typically do. You got some little students here visiting my cafe. I can click on them, build some affinity levels. Once again, nothing to, like it's not really breaking the mold. It's just well done. That, that's really about it, right? I feel like it's just a slightly higher polished girl cafe gun, whatever whatever order that game was in. Um, I don't have any furniture to throw in my cafe just yet, but the better your furniture, the more you get passive resources. Um, you also have this thing called lesson, which is, I, I, I don't really don't understand why it's here. I know what it does, but I really don't understand why it's here. You can basically teach your girls a lesson. Once again, these increase your affinity levels. You have a limited amount of tickets every single day. I guess, whatever, I, I just go in there and click it and keep it moving. Um, there are clubs in this game, AKA Guild. Haven't joined one just yet. Let's see if anybody uh, stole waifu. <laughs> how many How many waifu guilds are in the game? Can I just do that? Not a single one named Waifu Crew Lewd Cafe. Hey, hey. Full, of course that guild's full. Uh, I'll probably make a guild later. I guess we'll see. A lot of guilds here, a lot of them are, you know, not quite full, but I think DSP gaming, <laughs> the, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> a lot of these guilds aren't full just yet, but I think a lot of people are re-rolling right now, trying to get the best roll. A lot of people in my Discord haven't even started playing the game yet. They're in that, you know, that re-roll, quit the game in like two days phase. You know how it goes. Um, there's also a crafting system, which reminds me a lot of like Azure Lane and stuff like that, where you kind of like take, you know, pieces here and say, all right, I want to take that. And then I want to make it, uh, a node which is a gift for my girls and then I want to add an additional piece to I don't know crit in some way I don't know the crafting system completely it just reminds me of things that I've done before <laughs> and there you go come back in three hours and that'll complete my crafting so you kind of you know create your own crafting uh, 
destiny. <laughs> and then at the end, you come back in two hours and see what you came up came up with. Um, but that is that. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these summons here. There is a pickup banner going on, um, but I don't really like. I mean, I already have uh, Shiroko already, and the other girl on the banner is Hoshino. Two characters that I'm not really. Like the like I said, this is what I was talking about. The art for me is just just really generic. I'm not really super excited about any of those characters there. Um, so I've just been doing the regular banner, just wide open. Give me somebody else. So we'll let the full summon animation go through. You got yourself a little inbox there with ten emails that you refuse to answer. Probably a bunch of porn links. Ah man, did I just get demonetized? Dang it. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got here. Some of the one star art's pretty good. Like Pina here, like, dude, she's only a one star. She's pretty cool. I already have hair there. I kind of forgot one big piece of this, but we'll talk about that in a second. Because not all these characters are combat characters. So there are two different types of characters in this, uh, in this game strikers and then special. Um, the special characters are actually only on the sideline throwing ultimates out. Um, your strikers are the one that are actually on the ground, boots on the ground, actually doing the combat. But I'll explain that here in a second as we kind of end the video off. Oh, you were new? So everything else was a dupe, but she was new. I'll take that. And then we'll do another recruit here. Just burning out all my currency. Um, the game just hit a milestone when it comes to like, uh, I don't know if it was downloads or pre-registrations or something like that, but they just gave out another 1,200 of the currency, which is enough to do a full multi-pull. We're just gonna go ahead and just rapid fire through that. Um, all duplicates there, unfortunately. So there you go. That is a nice little look at Blue Archive. You know, just a pretty, you know, standard game. Like I said, it feels like an apology tour with Nexon. You know, Nexon is just kind of playing it safe, you know, good quality games with not really any egregious systems that just kind of just completely, you know, annoy you. Um, here is my little student roster list. And like I said, you have Striker and then you have Special. These characters here aren't actually in combat with you, but they're on the sideline helping you throw out ultimates and whatnot. And I'll show you what that looks like in our final little gameplay session here because I need to knock out this little, was it a bounty? You knock out this little bounty here. I gotcha. This is this is a little high for my level. A little high for my level. Hold on, what, what level was it? Level 20? Ah, oh, dude, I got that. Little nice little quality of life here. You can just long press your little girls here and then level them up from here if you choose to. Hopefully they're good enough. But as you guys can see, these right here are all my strikers, right? All the ones you see here are all my strikers. And then down here at the bottom are my support characters, which like I said, are in combat with you, but they're only on the sidelines, uh, basically throwing ultimates. So let's do one last little combat session here. See, those are my two specials and these are my four strikers. And then at RNG levels, their cards pop up here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, get enough skill points, throw an ultimate, Rinse and the repeatan. And, and what you can also do, which is what I normally have set, I turn this on to once a day as opposed to always seeing my ultimates, <laughs> which is just better for me. Dude, I'm already getting destroyed on this stage. These little Power Rangers like to run off. You're much better trying to kill them as fast as you possibly can because you eventually have to fight all of them if you just let them all escape, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Let me do a heal there. Oh, man. My only beef with the combat system, I think, is, you know, when you really need a heal, you have to hope that the RNG gives you a card of your healer. And I guess you can basically run more than one healer to kind of offset that a little bit. Oh, no! <laughs> I just lost two people! <laughs> Dude! Are you going to run or are you just going to sit there? Oh, man. I need, I need to heal my front line here. Dude, embarrassed twice. And this is what I was telling you, dude. The autoplay is not gonna is not gonna do well for you. You're eventually gonna have to throw this bad boy man manual quite quickly. Oh dude, we're we're done. <laughs> we are done. Actually, don't press that. Let's just blow out all of you guys here. We got a heal on deck. And you can see all the Power Rangers that I failed to kill earlier. Um let's can I I wonder if I can Oh my god, they hit hard! <laughs> no! I got a heal coming. Can you kill her? Can you kill this sushi? All right, let's do a heal. Okay, all right, one, one v one versus the great one. Dude, I don't like her mines because I feel like no one ever walks in them. 
<laughs> no light ever. Oh yeah, dude. Hit, hit him with a stun. Bing, bing, bing. Do I have a time limit? Oh, we're good. Two minutes. See, like her special ability with these mines is just a little meh. Leaves, leaves, leaves a little bit to be desired. But this is the free character that you get from pre-registering. I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I hate this game. If she had any other special ability besides those dumb mines, I would have won. I would have absolutely won that. Hey, but hey, you get a little refund on your ticket there, which is not that bad. Um, if I if I made them up to level 18, I would have been just fine. Um, but anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Once again, a nice little look at a Blue Archive. My name is FG3000. I thank you a ton for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.